Welcome to Unfold Data Science. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. So I was talking to a friend of mine who wanted to become a data scientist but then he complained that Aman in your field there is a lot of entry barrier. Now do you agree with that in data science there is a lot of entry barrier? If yes then standing as of today how we can break that barrier? So I started doing little research on that and I have come up with a five point plan which will help you to break the entry barrier and get a job in data science. Okay. So based on current market situation, based on how things are now, I have prepared this and I'm going to walk you through this. Okay. So please listen very carefully guys. What is these five things I'm talking about? First of all, the very first thing, if I want to become a data scientist, right? The first thing I should do is there is no rocket science. I have to learn data science. Very simple to understand. I have to learn what I have to learn. There are thousands of videos on internet. I will not go into much detail of what you have to learn. Basically machine learning, deep learning, Python, stats and mathematics, statistics, right? All these things you need to learn. Where from you can learn? So one source could be you can go to unfolddatascience.com and there is a course if you are an absolute beginner that course will help you. If you are not an absolute beginner, you can watch other playlists on Unfold Data Science YouTube channel or any channels anywhere where you feel that you are able to learn in a better way. Okay. The first step is learning. Remember, without learning, you do not qualify to ask for a job referral. You do not qualify to ask for an internship opportunity. The reason for that is even if you are given that, you will not be able to do justice to that. So the first step is learning. Okay. Now here I'm keeping in mind both sets of people, somebody who is a fresher want to become a data scientist, somebody who is doing something else and want to become a data scientist. So set two of the people are people already doing job and they want to become a data scientist. Okay. So for both of you, learning is mandatory where, where from you learn that depends on your comfort. Okay. But learning is mandatory. The second point and very important point here is how do you get certified? So things have changed in the industry guys. If you go few years back, right, there were not many options of doing certification in data science. But now I have done one certification, AWS ML specialty that is a well known certification. I have done that. I have created a video also. I will paste the link in the description and you can watch that video and understand how you can also do a good renowned certification. Okay. You can do from AWS or any other provider, but it should have some value. Okay. Certificate should have some value. Once you have that certification on your profile, right? Then there is a tag. So when I share my resume with someone, I'll say that AWS ML specialty certified data scientist. Okay. So if, if you do some certification, you can also put that in front of your name or title that will add, you know, value to your resume or value to your introduction. Okay. So step two, get certified and learning and certification are both kind of go will go in parallel. Okay. So you keep learning, you keep learning from certification point of view, and then you clear the certification. Once you do that, right. Then you have to be very particular on staying up to date on what is happening in the world of data science. Now this point is very crucial here due to multiple reasons. I will tell you why. So if I ask you, uh, tell me, tell me five things that is happening in the world of AI or tell me 10 things that is happening in the world of AI. I don't want to hear confusion matrix, true positive rate, ROC, AUC curve. No, I don't want to hear that. I don't want you to talk about linear regression assumptions. I don't want to talk about how random forest works. No, I want you to talk about what is trending in the world of AI. What is the area of AI where more jobs are opening? What are the new age AI jobs? What are the new area of interest stakeholders are taking in the world of AI? On these lines, right? I'm creating some videos already. If you see, I have created a video just yesterday on um, how to make your AI model fair. Okay. 
remember fairness in ai is one of the hot topics in the industry okay but people learners or somebody who is not knowing what is happening around the world right they might not be paying that attention to this i have created a topic video on the topic federated learning i have created a video on the topic new age ai jobs all these you can search unfold data science federated learning unfold data science new age ai jobs unfold data science you know ai fairness all these things are important for you to know why because if you don't know then when you talk to somebody what you will talk about as i told you right nobody is interested in listening about your model is giving 80% or 85% accuracy no i want you to understand the broader aspects of ai especially for the middle experienced level people okay i am not talking about very junior people middle experienced level people at my range 10 plus years right we don't expect you to just you know put your head down and build some good model no you have to talk to stakeholders you have to present the value proposition you have to talk the positives negatives you have to sell your product you have to bring new feature into the product how you will do that if you don't understand all these aspects all these aspects on which stakeholders are interested and from this third point right i will link it to the fourth point which is very crucial i am talking about breaking the barrier in ai so i am not talking about going the normal route of uploading your profile in nokri.com and you know waiting for the call to come upload uploading your profile in a job portal and waiting for the call to come no i am not talking that route i am talking about taking a new route taking a unconventional map and trying to sort things out for yourself right so the fourth step here is networking and participating so two things here network and participate network how how do you network right so online offline wherever data science events are happening wherever data science gathering is happening wherever you see some opportunity to meet people to know people to you know interact with people don't miss those things and how do you participate participation is crucial here so different forums of data science discussions right it could be a twitter handle it could be a linkedin page right it could be a maybe facebook post where people are talking about some problem they are facing in data science some problem they are facing in ai right what is your opinion on that so for example if i talk about my confusion matrix is not doing good on fraud detection data right so can you say that yes in fraud fraud detection problem there is usually a imbalance class problem so this is a usual kind of issue in the fraud detection model but here are the five ways in which this can be tackled and i have tried a it does not work that way i have tried b it works this way can you add some value there right at the moment you start adding value in other people's life mark my words people will start noticing you okay and the intention of this framework that i am talking here is just getting noticed so what i told learn certify be up to date and then network and participate so what i want to achieve here i want to be visible i want to get noticed in the in the internet okay once that happens once that happens then comes the last step which people think this is the first step the first step is not asking for referrals the first step is not asking for internship opportunities the first step is not asking for you know jobs that is the last step once you are somebody who knows stuff once you are somebody who is certified once you are somebody who knows what to talk how to talk once you are somebody who is well known in the field right and then you ask for for some opportunity right it will be a cake walk for you to get the opportunity and if you are equipped with right skill set then you are prepared to break that entry barrier that we spoke in the beginning of the video okay so it's not impossible guys there is no dearth of material you can get everything free of cost just that you need to plan it little smartly and move little smartly okay and most important it will not happen in one day okay you have to have the patience and you have to keep working it will happen i have seen many people doing this and just think little unconventional just think little non traditional okay things will work out for you 
I'll see you all in the next video, guys. Wherever you are, stay safe and take care.